Look, Veronica. Everyone's here to see you. We've come to celebrate with you. The world's at peace at long last. <gasps> and Yggdrasil's in full bloom again. It's so beautiful. It still hasn't sunk in, you know? We really did it. We really saved the world. Yes. Mordigan plunged Erdria into darkness. So many lost their lives. But we survived. We have to make the most of that. We have to laugh and smile for those who can't. We may feel like crying. Goodness knows I do. But we mustn't. <laughs> I can only imagine what Veronica would say. Pull yourselves together! You've saved the world, you idiots! What are you blubbering for? <laughs> Excuse my awful impression. <laughs> it hurt my soul. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here you all are. Huh? Mm -hmm. We were wondering where the guests of honor were. The festivities have already begun. It's party time. Come on, darling. Let's go let our hair down. like peace has even loosened up the Arboreans. Then what are we waiting for? Let's make this a party to remember. For Veronica. <laughs> hey! We may have done that in the previous episode. Welcome to post-game for Dragon Quest XI. This is apparently, as it was described to me, the rest of the game. <laughs> so actually yeah yeah there, it does make sense because there's some stuff that you know I guess they could answer like are they ever going to answer what the fuck was going on with the giant orange ball so I feel like we could at least unless I already missed it <laughs> knowing me wouldn't be surprised anywho feeling uh, pretty good I'm going to switch her back to her default outfit because I'm going to be honest I think we're strong enough to where she can go in with less defense. I think it'll, I think it'll be fine. Let's see. Put on these robes. There you go. You can go back to your dumb green outfit. And uh, how are we looking over here? Oh, Boomba Clot! <laughs> we got some stuff in here, like uh, uh what uh, a, a pep chance increase. We could use one of those. Uh, the only thing I'm looking to do with her at this point now would be this right here, Grace of the Goddess. Uh, basically auto life. So, we'll go ahead and get that and, well, down here there's Fatal Flash, which we'll have to get a little bit later. For me, well, I guess we continue to uh, move ourselves uh, through this tree. I kind of feel like filling out uh, some of some of these. Feels good. It's kind of hard to believe there's still more game. Was, we've had quite a long game. But no, they're like we're we're not done with you yet. You can't escape me. And I'm like, no, Daddy, no. <laughs> Please stop. Uh, there's multi thrust party pooper. Crushed Ice. Crushed Ice, which leads to Lightning Storm. Guess we could mess around with that a little bit. Rab, you little shit. Or, I'm sorry, Robert. <laughs> what do you got? Guess we can get you, get you a couple of these. 
revealing. Magical might when wielding. That's a nice little little bonus for you. And Hendrick. Hendrick, uh, he's just gonna be working on heroism. There we go. And that's 20 panels for Hendrick. Alright, aside from that, I don't think we got, like, any special items or equipment for our victory there. Don't think, like, you obtained this thing. Which is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and change the lineup. I like how Sylvando was the hero of all time, but... Let's, uh, let's not think about that. Let's not, let's not think about that. What are you doing? Man, he's just... He's just getting in. Uh, enjoy the festivities, then... Leave Arborea. Okay, so that just means, like, uh... Yo, when you want the plot to progress, fucking leave. Whom are you? Who are you? You saying some stuff. I've searched and searched for the second page. Can can you find it? Uh, next part of a love letter. But of course, I'm always willing to help. I probably never do this, but I'll pretend to. Let's get out of here. Be before I begin the process of being bored. Hey, where do you think you're going? Huh? Oh, hello. Sneaking off without us, honey. If you've got some place to be, we can all go together, no? No, this is something only I can do. Oh, don't be like that. Let's try this again, shall we? Sneaking off without us, honey. <laughs> <laughs> of course we can. If you're looking for new adventures, I know where we can start. You saw that weird light shining south of Octagonia too, right? If it was up to me, that's where I'd be headed. But you're the boss. Well now, this place looks a mite familiar. Aye, it's these funny wee buildings. We've seen them before. Yes, there's no mistaking it. It looks just like the floating island where we met the Watcher, doesn't it? Let's go and take a closer look. Who knows? We might find something interesting. Was this also part of an island and it just fell? A book. History of Urgeria and Time. We're Watchers. This is the Legend of the Watchers. Legends of Law and Time. Spirits weave time, born from Eridria. Spirits of Lost Time. Light governs time. Spirits of Lost Time. Okay. Yeah, Eternity Undone. Sure. Whatever. Yeah, they're like, we watch over stuff of for forever within time. I was gonna make a joke like, and this is how we time travel to save Veronica. Oh god, please no. <laughs> My brain just went, oh god, please no. What you doing? Wait, what, what you doing? Wait, what are we looking this at? painting, it's fascinating. It really draws you in, doesn't it? Oh, it's the... Are they going to explain the fucking floaty things that just hang out? He's got a book. It reminds me of something. Ah, of course. I've been reading a book they say was written by the Watchers of late. Let me see if I can find the right part. Spirits of lost time. Beings born from the land. Beings who control time. 
Spirits of lost time. Could they be these figures in the painting? According to the book, they guard the sacred light that controls the flow of time. And when that light burns bright enough, even those who are lost to eternity can be restored. Restored how, exactly? You mean, like, brought back to life? Wait, if that was true, then maybe... Huh? Think about it. We lost someone to eternity, didn't we? Someone we'd love to see again. Yeah, my parents. Veronica. Oh, uh, okay, but but my 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 dead parents. Uh, we we unfortunately lost them. They they had a raw deal, but uh. Do you uh, really think we could bring her back? I I mean she she'd kind of be like third string because also I f I feel like the mermaid also kind of kind of had a raw deal as well. Bit bit of a bit of a rough time to be honest well what else does it say about this light light lives in tower's heart sacred tower tower of lost time watchers guard wheel of time key to tower key to time key brings spirits sets wheels in motion hmm. So if we had the Wheel of Time, we might... We might really be able to... <laughs> what have we got to lose? If there's even a chance, we have to try, right? <laughs> Eric's right. No matter how unlikely it is, if it might be our chance to see her again, we simply have to try. Mm. But the Watchers are all gone, right? So how do we find this wheel thingy? This was once one of their islands, wasn't it? And I'd say that hole in the wall up there was pretty wheel-like. I reckon we could do worse than start our search right here, you know. <gasps> There's a way through up there. Let's go poke around some more, shall we? So, uh, at face value, just kind of like looking at this, they're not showing us the whole thing. This is bad stuff. This is where the bad guys are, right? And uh, there's the tree. I assume that's Yggdrasil. I guess the spark in the middle could be like your sword. There are some of the orbs. Oh, there's our, there's our fucking floaty whale. There are the watchers, the little gray Majin Buu looking things. There's the tower. Now I'm assuming that is supposed to be the lantern that blew up before. And it looks like the Watchers offer up the one of the orbs to it. Now thinking about it, it looks like they were trying to do that before. Hmm. I mean, I feel I feel like I'm unpiecing something I'm not supposed to know yet, but we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Let's not ruin the game's time. That, that was an unintentional pun. Hello, it's the Wheel of Time. It just so happened to blow 15 feet away. You found the Wheel of Time. Honey, you are just too good at this. It was like 15 feet away. So if I understood that book correctly, the wheel will bring the spirits of lost time to the tower they mentioned. But where might this tower be found? No likely candidate spring to mind. Hmm. Hello. Big fan of this guy. Look at him. Hmm? What's the matter, darling? 
You got an idea where the place we're looking for might be? I thought of something. There's an old tower north of Yggdrasil I always wondered about. Unless anyone's got any better ideas, what say we climb aboard our friendly whale and see what we can see up there? All right, let's go ahead and uh, use our calamus fruit or flute. I'm a big fan of fruit, though. That's also good. be honest, you'd think that some of this loading would be done in the overly long flute animation. J you know, just saying. Jackpot. Can we remove her from the loading screen as well and replace her with Hendrik? <laughs> Sorry. The Lost Land. Also, the Lost Soundtrack. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's just gonna go... Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> uh oh. They're, they're going. Oh, man, are they going. Hold on, there's an entire section where we can go around. I am interested. Hmm, the Lost Land converts into snow pretty quickly. Aha! Once again, I'm brilliant. Good godly gear! I can make sacrosanct staves Venus tears. I need to see if I can make the, like, the metal slime-related equipment we found. That'd be fun. Man, you guys are just, uh, you guys are just going. Working real hard today. Bunch of absolute units. Open up, please. Looks like we found the right tower. I wonder if these spirits of lost time are here already. Come on, laddie. Let's head on in and see what we can see. Is that thing just going to be our final boss? I swear to God, it's like, yes, I'm doing it. The Tower of Lost Time. It's going TikTok. Oh wait, this area was being shown in the credits too. They were setting that up. This dastardly game with its grandmaster plans. There's treasure. What do you have for me? A hero's book of basic weapons.
Well, that's uh, a bunch of what I assume to be high-tiered weapons for this point of the game. I'm excited. I'm excited to experiment with our uh, with our crafting. <gasps> this one's tall. Oh my god. special light here in the tower that can well that can bring people back we've lost someone very special you see and well we were hoping you might be able to help us before Yggdrasil fell. That way, we could stop Mordigan before it was too late. That wouldn't just save Veronica. It would save the whole of Erdria. Think of all the pain and suffering we could prevent. It is possible. All is possible. It may be that returning to that particular fork in the flow of time brings all that you wish and more. Then it must be done. I would gladly give up all that has happened since that day for the chance to change it. Mm. Aye. Alas, to lose time is to lose much. Only one of you may return to that place. The sphere can be broken but once by a single hand. A hand possessed of a singular power. In this world, only one such power exists. That of the Luminary. I see you. I know you. I knew you the moment you appeared. Only you can break the 
the sphere, and only with the sword of light. When it is broken, when the memories are shattered, you will return to the past, and there you will stay. You mean he'll have to live it all again? He can't come back here to us? To lose time is to lose much. This world, this reality, these will be lost to you. And that is not all. The outcome of the sphere's shattering is impossible to foresee. You may be lost forever, trapped in a corner of time, a half-faded memory. <gasps> That's awful! Your present, your companions, your life even, all these may be lost to you. Knowing this, are you willing to risk all for the sake of your departed friend? Side. I will await you before the sphere. So we could potentially just go back in time before the bad stuff happened. I also realized that we straight up have Mortigan's sword. <laughs> And it occurred to me that, oh shit, we totally have that. Which, by the way, is super better than what I have now. Oh, that'd be so dope. Luminary coming in, ready to fuck shit up with your evil sword. Like, hmm, maybe we can get this done. The decision is made, we gotta do it. Otherwise the LP's canceled. Like, <laughs> we gotta go. do this. We won't let you. No, sorry. <sighs> okay, okay. You win. We know you well enough by now not to try and talk you out of this. But you'd better not mess this up. You go back there and you save her, you hear? Save us all. Do what you have to do. We won't stand in your way. Can't I just, like, travel back in time and cause a paradox and, like, like, attack Mortigan before, before he, like, kills my dad and effectively defeat him there? And if we defeat him there, then... And then, fucking howdy doody, no, none of the bad stuff happens. Granted, I would exist at the same time as a baby, but it, wouldn't that be a lot better than, than my mom and dad dying? And, uh. And, and, uh, I would assume hundreds of thousands of other people dying to, uh, some horrible things by Kingdom Fall. Not. I don't think the game. I'm gonna say this, I don't think the game cares about my parents. <laughs> Made. They're like, nah, you care more about Veronica. I'm like, oh, maybe somebody does. The KZ from a different universe does. But some semblance of your present self will remain. Your memories, the record of your adventures thus far, your knowledge of battle. And all that you have learned. And last of all. The containers that surround the altar. These are the time capsules. These sacred vessels are immune to the flow of time. When you shatter the sphere, all that you 
possess will be placed within them. Thus, may the items you require journey with you to the past. Alas, there is one item that will not survive the journey. The Sword of Light. That's fine, I use great swords. But you should retain possession of its twin, the Sword of Shadow. Yeah. This will surely prove to be a more than worthy weapon for the time being. Now you know all that I know. All right, let's uh, let's uh, let's, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Final answer. Step forward, Luminary, and into the path. <laughs> Wait! <gasps> what? When you meet me in the past, we will be enemies again. But know this. I stand ready to pledge myself to your cause once more. To be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. <laughs> yes, yes, very dramatic, Hendrik, honey. Now, if you've quite finished frowning and swearing oath, farewell, darling. I look forward to seeing you in the past. I know you can do this. I know you won't let anything stand in your way. And the asses of the past will be there for you whenever you need us. I was looking away, so I thought she said the asses of the past. Now, if I know your grandfather, he'll have a few words to say before you go. <laughs> You've grown into a fine figure of a man, laddie. Oh, don't look down now. We'll only be apart a wee while. We're back there waiting for you after all. You'll do as proud. I know you will. How could you not do? You're my own flesh and blood after all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm? I, I suppose I began this journey with you feeling that I was simply doing my duty. But it became so much more than that. So please, if you don't mind, I hope you'll take me along with you all over again. is upon us. Luminary, take the sword of light in hand. I knew that thing was useless. A great sword wouldn't shatter that easy. Wait, laddie. This isn't goodbye. Not by a long shot. See you on the other side.
be waiting for you. Take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. We of our glorious swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Friends, shipmates, amigos, spark thrust and the rainbow await. Destiny beckons! I don't know how Mordigan's planning on achieving eternal life, but I know one thing. We're going to stop him. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Good luck.